everyone, and welcome to the joys of Christmas painting. I'm Bob Ross, and today I'm going to help you make a scenic Christmas landscape. And we're going to start with our colors, and they'll be flashing across the bottom of the screen. I'll just show you mine real quick. They're very lovely, nice and bright for the Christmas season. So I'm going to go in with a simple one-inch brush, dab into that green right there. And I'm thinking, I'm going to have my Christmas tree in the center. So we're just going to start, nice and easy strokes. I put a layer of white paint down to kind of diffuse the color. Just dabbing in. Dab, 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 dab. You know how my friends like to dab. I don't understand it really, but they like to do it, so to each his own, I suppose. Just keep on going. And if you mess up, it's okay. Sometimes you just make these little mistakes in life, and before you know it, you have a nice, nice little Christmas tree. Kind of crisscrossing here. Nothing too perfect. Nice and flowy. Make sure you get lots of paint on there though. Otherwise it just looks white. And sometimes black comes out of nowhere and you just have to have to deal with it. You gotta deal with life's darkness sometimes. Dab, 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 and sweep, sweep, sweep. Kinda like Cinderella. And once you've got that, you're gonna forget that you needed water. We'll deal with that later, it's okay. We don't have to deal with all of life at one time. I'm gonna take some brown. I'm gonna make a nice little trunk right here. There we go. Just like that. Very nice. Okay. Now we've got this lovely Christmas tree right here. And I've mostly cleaned my brushes. So now it's time to put some ornaments on our tree. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go in with that yellow just right there first. Take a nice fan brush and we're just gonna make our star. Right at the top. You can make any star you want. Just go in with nice and simple five points right here. There we go. And if you don't like how your star looks, that's okay, because all stars are beautiful. I'm gonna take that same brush, a little bit more yellow, and add some little baubles. Some people like to call them ornaments. I think baubles is just more fun of a word, personally. Just a few more here and there. You can make big ones, you can make little bitty dots, you can make more stars if you'd like. It's whatever you like. Everybody's Christmas tree is different. I'm going to clean off that brush again just real quick. It's okay if the colors kind of mix together. It's art. Sometimes things just get all jam-packed together and he's got to roll with it. We're going to go with some blazing hot pink right here. Dab some more. Dab, 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 dab. Remember what I said earlier about dabbing? Just you do you guys. Little bitty dots. Bigger dots. Just whatever you feel like at the moment. I'm going to clean off my brush one more time. <clears throat> now we have this lovely, almost salmon color. That's okay, because fish are nice too. Pick some blue now. Dab, 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 dab. Just nice and pretty. Just wherever you feel like it. And you know, when I do Christmas trees at my house, my favorite point, point is always when we get to the lights. So I'm going to take some red. Covered in paint. Take some red. We're just going to drape it like, oh, yeah, see? Just like that. Get a little bit more paint. Dab, 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 dab. Just dab it on there. Just wherever you like it. And that's alright if it looks darker at some parts. That's art. And how about we go uh, go the other way too. So you can't just have one strand of lights. That's crazy talk. You need lots and lots of lights. Just ask my neighbor, Teddy Bowles. He's got lots of lights. Makes it hard to sleep at night, but that's okay. It's alright. Everybody's different. Just gotta respect all of our differences. We can get some more paper towels. The other one's covered in paint. I'm just gonna clean this brush off. Just like that. Looks almost like a rainbow now, isn't that pretty? Now we're gonna <clears throat> my favorite part of Christmas is always a little baby Jesus. So I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. I'm gonna make a manger over here. Everybody's mangers will be different, so you just, you make a manger the best way you know how. 
It's going to do it looks almost like a little rectangle. Sweep it on there. There we go. Now, I have heard from many people that, well, drawing is hard and art is hard, but everything's art. The way you do your makeup is art. Your clothes is art. Type of boots you wear, they're art. Everything's art, guys. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to mix some right here. Take some yellow and a little bit of brown. Try and make kind of a fleshy color here. Oh, that's still pretty brown. That's okay. I don't know what baby Jesus looked like. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna kind of do a little head right here. There we go. And then just a little bit right there. But you know, baby Jesus, he um, said that Mary mapped him, wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. So we're gonna assume that swaddling clothes were blue. You know, he was a boy. Lose her voice. There we go. Just dab, just like that. Dab, dab, dab. And I think, uh, I think we should give him some eyes. It's a little weird if he doesn't have eyes. Uh, let's just say green, because green eyes are the best, guys. The best eyes. There we go. It's lovely. this uh, session with me today. And remember, always keep painting. Happy painting.